And uh, hey guys, we're off and running. So I am uh, here. I just finished all my work for today. It's a, it's a rare day that I actually finished my work by 5.30. Imagine that. Um, so I thought I would jump on and play some Warcraft. Anne um, is off at a work thing at Magic Castle in Hollywood tonight. So I thought this is a good opportunity for me to sit down and play some Warcraft. And again, I'm into skinning these dinosaurs because they're fun to hunt. But actually, I'm on a quest right now. Um, the quest is like I'm supposed to be picking up some kind of keys. Um, so I'm just on my way there to pick up some keys. So hello to everybody who's already here in the chat board. Uh, hello, Ricky. Hello, Mike. Hello, Abram. Uh, hello, Knights of the Hills. Hello, Nerd Drama. Uh, hello, all. So yeah, we're, we're back here. Now somebody's asking, um, King of the Hills is asking, back on YouTube? Yeah, back on YouTube. Uh, yesterday I tried, ooh, I haven't seen these things before. I guess I got to kill these things and get some keys off of them. Okay, so that's, that's, the, uh, that's the plan here today. So yesterday, I experimented with playing on Twitch. So I thought, ah, you know, quick Twitch is more for gaming, so maybe I'll just do that over there. But I had a bunch of people, I asked people, hey, what do you prefer, me playing on Twitch, or do you prefer me playing on YouTube? And I actually got a bunch of people writing to me saying they preferred just how much easier it is for them and how convenient it is for them for me to play on YouTube. So I went, ah, okay. Well, if that's what you guys want, then I will come and play on YouTube. So that's what we're doing. Now, I'm still a little bit unsure here. Now it says, these. this is this quest right here that I'm doing. And I gotta get one burning key, one cresting key, and one thundering key. And the map up here is telling me that this is the spot I need to get these things. But the only thing that's here are these like thundering elemental things. So. I'm guessing I have to t kill them and hopefully pick up, like hopefully they drop these things that I need. But I mean, I just don't know yet. But I just killed one and it didn't drop anything. Okay, so that's that. I better take out these guys before I try going in there. And I better put up my shield again. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so he's dead. I'll kill this third one that's in there and hope, I'm just hoping, I mean, I don't know that these guys are carrying these keys. I'm just kind of hoping that they're gonna have the keys. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna slip in here. There's a thundering charm. Oh, it the st is the stone it? Okay. So there's one thing. Oh, I get it. It's spread all over the place. Okay, now I got. I guess I got to go to this other place to get this. All right. See, I thought they all three of them would be picked up here, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, so I'll head over toward the other one. Supposedly is. And I guess it's in this direction. Um, okay, let me bring up the uh, Super Chats because we've got another question here. Um, another question from Tristan Sheehan, who writes, I saw this really cool fan art, Matthew McConaughey as Reverse Flash. I'd be so down for that. Oh, Matthew McConaughey's a great... I mean, it's one of those situations where he's a great actor. So, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I can't help myself. I'm going to kill this dinosaur. I should just keep going to where my quest is, but I need to kill the dinosaur. I'm obsessed with skinning for leather. I don't know why. I mean, it makes a good amount of money, but it's not, it's not like it makes me millions of dollars or anything like that in the game. So I'm not sure why I'm so obsessed with it, but I love farming for leather. I just love getting leather. And these dinosaurs out here give up good leather. Like, do you remember, like, a few days ago, I was, like, just getting excited when I could find a medium leather? Well, now these guys are dropping medium leathers automatically, and a lot of times they're dropping heavy leather, which is even worth more. 
Uh, but anyway, getting back to the Matthew McConaughey thing. Do me a favor, would you, uh, Tristan, could you email me, john at thejohncampyshow.com, that's john at thejohncampyshow.com, uh, email me a link to that fan art, because I would love to see it. Oh, I didn't even see what I just picked up. It was some kind of leather. Hopefully it was heavy. Um, yeah, email me that. I would love to see it. It's funny, my uh, minion has more range than I do. There we go. Actually, get back to this quest. I get sidetracked. I get on these quests and I completely see heavy leather. Nice. I completely get sidetracked by dinosaurs so I can skin them. Yeah. Um, but McConaughey? Oh, sure. But look, it's one of those situations where, yeah, 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 any good actor in the role is fine. McConaughey would be great, though. I mean, getting yet another uh, Academy Award winning actor in a comic book movie would be awesome. There we go. My elemental's almost dead, so I should probably respawn him. Medium leather, that's all right. I'll respawn my elemental, get his health back up, because I'm more than halfway to the actual spot. And you know, I should hop back on the horse. So yeah, once again, any good actor in the role, I'm fine. But yeah, Tristan, I'm totally down for Matthew McConaughey. Are you kidding me? Totally down for that. McConaughey in a Flash film. As reverse Flash, absolutely. Oh, See, now I have an excuse to kill this dinosaur because it's actually in my way. So I can't get by him without killing him. So see, I have an excuse now. It looks like there's another one or two in the way too. Okay. Skin this puppy. Medium leather again. This guy's in my way as well. So I'll go take him out. Let the uh, minion draw him in. So he's within range. Oh, he... Oh, no. I thought he killed my minion for a second. Bang! Ah, my brother's... My brother, my buddy Soul just texted me. Me and Soul were talking about maybe going to see Hereditary tonight, but he just texted me, said he can't, can't get out of work. That sucks. Oh, it's like that. Die, die, die. And he's attacking me. Okay. Man, I'm surrounded by these. They're just all over the place. Go get them. All right. Um, okay. Oops. Sorry, uh, Minion. He's attacking you. I should get involved. And then I'll go to another question. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Next question. Uh, Trevor Johnson is writing in, uh, I've wondered about the toll that directors go through when their work is panned, Lucas and Snyder. I know having a thick skin is part of the job, but I wouldn't be able to bounce back from that experience. Oh, no, it's, it's look, you can have, look, I have a pretty thick skin, but, I mean, but, I mean, what they're getting is crazy. Now, look, it's part of the gig. It, you... You have a job where you can be beloved by millions of people and you can make millions of dollars, but you know, you got to accept with that comes the possibility that, you know, it's, it could also be rough. Now there's a difference between saying people saying, Hey, I hate that movie. And here's why I hate that movie. There's a difference between that. And then some of the stuff that Snyder got and some of the stuff that like Lucas gets like you raped my childhood and so like or I'm like oh some of the stuff that Zack Snyder got like just made me sick to my stomach 
Like when, like, especially after the announcement of uh, Snyder's daughter. I mean, I don't even like repeating it, but I mean, I remember after the announcement about Zack Snyder's daughter, um, you know, she, she took her own life, which is just, how is a parent, how does a parent deal with that? I mean, that's just awful. And I remember reading crap like, even on our own chat boards, people like, Oh, she probably saw her dad's Batman versus Superman movie, and that's why she did it. It's like, I I just, I couldn't believe human beings would write stuff like that. Like, that's not about, oh, Zack Snyder just needs a thick skin. That's horrific. Like, just flat out horrifying that a human being would write that about or to another human being like it just made me sad and you know lucas had has put up with some of that stuff as well and other directors too like and again to a degree there is an element of it that hey you just gotta have a bit of a thick skin if you're gonna you know be in a position to be world famous and beloved by millions and make millions of dollars hey yeah you're just gonna have to accept that part of that part of the price tag of that is you're gonna be the subject of scrutiny okay but Scrutiny is one thing. Fair criticism and like just pure fan criticism is another. The type of stuff that Snyder and some other people have had to deal with is just like unfathomable. Just unfathomable. Just vile and evil and it's just terrible. And yeah, you get it why somebody like a... Uh, somebody like a... Uh, um, George Lucas would just want to say, you know what, just forget it and just, you know, sell the damn movies. Now, you can get why he would, like, with some of the stuff. Like, look, if you make a bad movie and you just get bad movie criticism, this film sucked, I hated this film, blah, 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 that's all fair criticism. That's fine. But some of the stuff is just, yeah, ludicrous. It says there's no loot. That means these other guys took it, and now I gotta wait around for the loot to respond. Crap. Okay, fine, I'll wait here. But yeah, it's it's nuts. It is nuts. And you look, no matter how thick of a skin you have, too, you're these are human beings. And when they read some of that stuff, and again, like I said, the criticism about the work, that's fair game. I hated this movie, I thought this movie sucked, blah, blah, blah. That's all fair for a fan to say. You pay your money to go see a movie, you have a right to say whether you loved it or whether you hated it. That's fine. But yeah, some of the stuff that Snyder and Lucas had to put up with is just out of bounds. That's the best way to put it, just to say it was out of bounds. Ah, yes. Okay, so I got that one. Now I need one more key. Is it on my map? Oh my god, it's all the way over there. Okay, I'm all the way over here. This is where I am right here. And I gotta go all the way over there. They are really, really making me run my ass off of this one. All right, whatever. Run, run, run. Okay, um, let's see. Habitat for Huge Manatee uh, writes, oh, is somebody chasing, oh no. Uh, Habitat for Huge Manatee writes, uh, hey John, uh, does it ever pull you out of a film or show that is supposed to take place far in the future and they use modern pop culture references? Um, you know what? Not as much as you might think. Not as much as you might think. Because, like, today, we use pop culture references from eras and days gone by, right? So, honestly, it, it doesn't pull me out that much. Okay. Oh, I'm just surrounded by dinos. Which is awesome. I mean, not something you'd say in Jurassic Park, but for my intents, that I intend to kill these dinosaurs and loot them for their leather. Then it's quite grand. Okay. Oh dear, I got too close. That's fine. I'm gonna freeze this sucker. 
get out of its way, and then shoot him. Oh, I think somebody's actually speaking to me in the game. Ah, okay, oh, that's... I thought it was just some player flying, floating by, somebody saying hi. I will turn and wave. There we go. Um, okay. I really should not be doing this. I should just get back to uh, going after the key that I still need. <laughs> but I love killing the dinos. Okay. Um, oh yeah, so anyway, back to the whole thing about the future thing. Um, like I said, it, it really it doesn't take me out that much because like I said, we do it today. You know, we'll make Rosebud references. That movie was like 50 years ago or however many more than that. Like, so, yeah. I, I mean, it can. It can. But, uh, again, I don't think it's all that unusual. Okay. Holy crap, this dude's a 110 level player. That is a serious player there. 100 level 110. That's nuts. The highest I ever got uh, playing Warcraft was level 70. Now, uh, keep in mind, at the time that I was playing, level 70 was the highest you could go. Now, that's not the case anymore. Now you can go, get all the way up to like a level 110, obviously. But yeah, at the time, 70 was the highest you were allowed to go, and that's as high as I got. Right now I am level 32, I think? Holy crap, these dinosaurs are everywhere. You know what? I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna kill my guy, send my guy after that one, and then I'm gonna kill this one myself. Oh, that guy's almost killing my elemental. Got him. Okay. So there, I just killed two at once. Pick up the leather. Okay, so I'm guessing that's... No, it's still a ways away. Okay, I gotta keep going. But I gotta go through these things, which is fine. I don't mind going through them. Oh yeah, that guy's riding a spider. Okay. I love that these things give up heavy load. How close am I? Ah, I'm not even halfway yet. Okay, I'll kill this dinosaur and I will hop on my horse and keep riding. Step out of its way. Okay, nice. Okay, now I will hop on my horse and keep going. Uh, am I going the right way? Yes. Okay, what's the next question here? Um, Chris Warden writes, Trying to get through Escape Plan 2, but wow, it's bad. I like the first one. But just skip this train wreck. It looks like it was a sh it was shot with a handheld. Eh, it might have been shot with a handheld. Um, I'm curious because Jamie King's in it, and there's this dude I know by the name of uh, Kyle Newman, who Kyle Newman uh, he's been on my Masters of the Web panel before, and he directed 
that great movie Fanboys. Anyway, his wife is in that movie. So I'm curious just to see it for that. Uh, I'm going to have to stop and kill these things or else they're going to attack me anyway. All right, I will do the same thing. I will deal with two birds with one stone. Okay. But it's really that bad, huh? Escape plan two? Now, I'll admit, it didn't look very good. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't look good at all. But I'm still curious to see it. Just because, like I said, uh, my, my friend's wife's in it. All right. Oh, he killed my elemental. There we go. I'll just respawn my elemental here, hop back on my horse, and keep going. Okay. Well, I'll respawn my horse once I stop. What is this thing? Oh, it's just a dead dinosaur. Okay. Am I getting close? I'm getting close. I'm almost there. Um, yeah, so, uh, man, it sucks to hear that it's bad. I was going to, I wanted to check, you know, I'm probably still going to check it out. Um, so, but thank you for the heads up and the warning. I'll know now to adjust my expectations accordingly. Okay. Uh, summon a water elemental. Go get him. I'll take out this one. Skin, skin, skin. All right, and I keep on walking. Okay. All right. All right. I'll go around that last dinosaur. Okay, what's uh, next here? Uh, Kevin Kamaki just sends in a super chat. Thanks, Kevin. Dirk Diggler writes... Oh, where'd Dirk go? Um, uh, Dirk, Dirk writes a very ambiguous email. This is John. Did you see my email with topic in the subject line? Responding to your request from open mic. I can't remember remember I get about a hundred emails a day with the word topic in the subject line So I cannot I do not know off the top of my head. Am I in the right place? Oh, I got to go around this farm. Okay um, Yeah, Dirk, I don't know like I said I get about a hundred emails a day with the word topic. Oh You want to die that bad? Um, hold on a second. I'm just, uh, every once in a while players pop up that kind of accompany me. And while I'm super appreciative of it, I really like to game alone. Like, I like to play solo quests and play alone and not with other players. So, um, but seriously, thanks for the, uh, uh Okay. Now I should be getting relatively close now. Yes, I'm closing in on it. So I'm just going to stay on foot. Um, 
Oh, there's the pillars, so I must... Oh, so these ones are fire elementals. Okay. They're on fire. I wonder if my ice powers are going to be any good against them. Okay, you try and first water elemental. We'll see how ice does against them. Oh, they do pretty good. You got him. Oh, these guys are all like uh, elites. Uh, so anyway, Dirk, um, fire me off a message again. And uh, just let me know what in particular we were talking about. All right. Dead. Now, where is this thing? I'm guessing it's on the other side of this rock. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I gotta take these guys out. Uh, it's the same guy that likes to follow me around and help. While I appreciate it, I do want to play this by myself. Alright. All three down and out of the way. Okay. Uh, oh, I, get, I was going to stake a question, but I suppose I should get on my horse and at least exit the area before these things start to respawn. Because as elites, they will probably, if they gang up on me, I could be in trouble. I can seem to be able to take them down one at a time, no problem. Okay, great. All right. Let's see. Habitat for Huge Manatee writes, make sure to pick up, pick up first aid as well as a skill. Well, you know what I picked up as professions? I picked up um, skinning, obviously, because I love doing that. And I picked up leatherworking. But I should probably ditch the leatherworking and just re and pick up... Uh, I was thinking first aid, actually, as a skill, because I'm really not using leatherworking at all. I was using it to turn, like, um, leather scraps into light leather. But there's really not much use for it beyond that, because I'm not into making items for other people. So I think I will look into uh, first aid as a skill, actually. Okay, which way do I got to go? Uh, ready for turn-in. Where's the turn-in? Oh, it's somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to go and turn it in. Uh, let's see. Luke1234 writes, Does the World of Warcraft seem less packed than before when you played years ago? Well, remember, there's there's always new servers. Like whenever things get too packed, they just create new servers. So I think I'm on a, on a relatively um, new one called Exodar. And so, yeah, it doesn't, oh, what is this? I don't know, but he's in my way, so. I best get him. This guy came up behind me. So I killed him. All right.
death, death, death. Come on, Water Elemental. Keep shooting him, minion. Okay, back on my horse. And I'm almost there. Um, so yeah, honestly, and plus I'm not playing a PvP server like I used to. Um, so just kind of naturally feels a little less crowded. But again, it, it also did look to me like there were a hell of a lot of server names. Like when I was having to pick a server, there were a hell of a lot of server names. So I can't, I really don't know. Like I would imagine, geez, I got to get through these guys first. Okay. Um, I don't know how many p people there are playing Warcraft these days compared to back when I was playing. Um, so it's difficult to say. What I do know is not playing on a PvP server and playing on a rel what I think is a relatively new server, it doesn't feel as crowded to me. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's not as crowded. And it's been a lot of years since I played. So, I might not be remembering it properly. Okay, go get him, Elemental. Get him closer, there we go. Oh, this is easy. Good job, little Elemental. Okay, I think I'll just use my big power on this guy. I like this um, Ray of Frost power. It kills them basically in one shot. It takes a second or two, but it just basically just kills them. The problem is I only get to use it once a minute. It's got a one minute cooldown period. Oh man, there's a lot of these things. Am I clear here? I think I'm clear. Okay. Turned in all the keys. Oh, I'm so close to leveling up to 32. Obtain the Rod of Order from Fosrock. Okay. Accept. And I'm going to get out of here. And take another question. All right. Uh, Maurice Cook writes, John, love to see Supergirl spin off of Superman. Um, I don't know. Eh, only because, to quote, um, to quote Zazzy Beats from Deadpool 2, it's a little derivative. Um, it feels a little derivative. Now, remember, in... The, before Man of Steel came out, for those of you who might not know what Maurice is uh, alluding to, before Man of Steel came out, there was a Man of Steel prequel comic book that came out. And it wasn't all that interesting, but the one interest, it mainly focused on Clark's cousin Kara. And it was like a thousand years, or distant relative, it was like a thousand years, thousands of years, before the events of Man of Steel. And... What happens in this comic? Oh, that's Fosruck. Am I supposed to fight this guy? I certainly hope not. He's big. Okay. So anyway. Um, in this Man of Steel comic, it, was, it focused on Kara of Zor-El. But it was maybe tens of thousands of years before present day. And she crash lands on Earth. With I mean, there's a whole story behind it. But they crash land on Earth. And there's two life pods chambers in the ship. And that's the ship that they find in Man of Steel that was buried in the ice. That's the ship that they find. So, anyway, in Man of Steel, um, Clark finds, finds the ship in all the ice. Now, in the comic book, once they crash, Kara gets out of her life pod and just walks off into the snow. And that's it. 
they leave it at that. So when Clark finds the ship and he finds the two life pods, one chamber with a dead skeleton in it, and another chamber that's open and empty, <gasps> that open and empty one in Man of Steel, for the people who read the prequel comic book know, that was Supergirl's chamber. Whatever happened to Supergirl? Once she left, once she got out of the pod and walked off into the snow 10,000 years ago or 20,000 years ago, however long it was, whatever happened to her? So there's some speculation that she became the mother of the Amazons, that she became the ancestor of the Amazons or possibly the Atlanteans, that super powered beings on Earth are somehow directly descended from Kara zor -El. Or maybe, I mean, these are just theories. These aren't things that were said by anybody in the movie. So that would be kind of interesting to see. That would be kind of interesting to see. Okay, I'll take another question while I'm waiting for this guy to re, uh, respawn here. There he is. Okay, so I guess I gotta kill him. Oh god, he's tough. And I got him. I felt bad killing him because he wasn't even aggressive. Okay, now where do I gotta go to turn this in? Oh, back to that same spot? Are you kidding me? Uh, all right, I'll go back to the same spot. Anyway, okay. Um, let's see. What was next here? Uh, Jedi Knight and friend of Captain Solar writes, Check out Planet Coaster. It's the new roller coaster tycoon, but it's much more advanced and basically a 3D modeling program. Great for streaming, too. Interesting. You know what? Honestly, I never played um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's funny because I know I have a number of my friends who did play it and were really into it, but I never played it. And I've never even heard Planet Coaster. I've never heard of it either. So is it a relatively new title? Oh, gosh, I'm pretty high up here. Am I going to have to take a big drop? Damn it. Can I just outrun the spiders? I gotta run, 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 run. So I got all these spiders after me. And I don't feel like stopping to fight them. La 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 la. Still one spider chasing me. Now I gotta go down into this pit. There, you stop chasing me. I gotta go down to the pit, turn in this quest. Hopefully I don't have to fight all those guys again, but I bet you I will. Yep, there's still a couple here. Ah. All right, fine. I'll dismount. So, Roller Coaster Tycoon. All right, I will check that out. And I've leveled up. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now level 23. Oh, and look, a new quest emerged. Is this dude attacking me? You bitch. Jeez, this guy just kind of popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> Okay, so what was this quest? Did I pick up the quest? I think I did. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to leave. Before I attract any more attention. Okay, let's uh, get back over to it. Uh, so, I Jedi, uh, Jedi Knight, I will check that out. I will check that out. Uh, Trevor Johnson writes, I'm excited. My first memory was seeing Jurassic Park in theaters at four years old. That's awesome. Now I get to take my four-year-old son um, to Jurassic World. He loves all the other movies. That's awesome. You know what? Again, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 
is not like an awesome movie. But I was pretty entertained by it. And I honestly, now I know this isn't saying much, but I honestly think it's probably the second best Jurassic Park film. Um, I think it's probably the best Jurassic Park film since the first Jurassic Park. Now again, I know that's not saying much, but I did like it more than the first Jurassic World. And it has its problems. It definitely has its problems. It has its issues. But it's got a good sense of adventure to it as well. So it's all good on that level. Okay, let me turn in this quest. Where I got to turn it into? I got to turn it in here. Yay! Okay. So, uh, I'm. that is exciting. That's always cool when you get to get legacy stuff like i watched this as a kid and now i get to take my kid to see the next one it's funny because there's a lot of people who are like you know 12 years old when they saw the incredibles and now they're 26 27 and they're taking they may they have a young child of their own now and they're taking their kid to go see incredibles you know it, it's it's this legacy stuff that's really really cool so thank you for sharing that story trevor i really like that uh luna comics wrote I was looking at the sky and thinking, man, it sure would be awesome if a fantasy movie would take place in the clouds. It would look so beautiful. I can probably think of a few games. Um, summon and defeat Misrael at the Shards of Misrael. Uh, I got a feeling she's going to be tough. But those gloves look sweet, so I will accept it. Off with you. Off with you. You know, I'll uh, take this other one, too. And thanks for the warning to watch my back. All right. I, yeah, Luna, I can probably think of a few games that do something like that. Um, oh, what was the one movie? Wasn't Tomorrowland? Speaking of Incredibles 2 that Brad Bird directed, didn't that have something to do with the city in the clouds? I mean, obviously there's, there's Bespin. Um, but uh, try to remember. Anyway. Uh, okay, let me see where I gotta go here now. You know, I should probably just collect up all these quests. Um, yes, except. I'm not even gonna read them. I'm just gonna take them all. Do I have them all now? I have them all now. Okay, now where do I gotta go? Where is this one about seeking... Which was the one... Summon and defeat the princess unleashed. Okay, that's the one I'm most interested in right now. So I'm going to do that one first. At least in a bit here. Uh, let me just take another couple of questions here. Um, Dirk Diggler writes, talking about Toby Emmerich's statement on Rotten Tomatoes and social media and how it relates to good films. General audience and Rotten Tomatoes think that Wonder Woman is the best DCU. Going by Emmerich's logic. More in my email. Oh, that one. Okay. Um, I, I remember that now from the show earlier today. Um, I mean, yes, I mean, audiences, I think it's fair to say audiences and critics generally seem to think, I mean, not everybody thinks this. Ooh, what's in the chest? <laughs> I'm so easy. I'm such a child. I'm so easily distracted. Ooh, what's in the chest? Nothing. Oh, well, I, I guess nothing important. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's fair to say. I'll read the email definitely a little bit later, Dirk. Um, but I think it's totally fair to say that the general audience and critics generally thought Wonder Woman was the best DCEU film. Um, so that kind of goes without saying. Okay. Let me see. Where am I going now? Um... I, well, you know, maybe I'll take care of this minor one first. There's this minor one down here that's just a turn in one. I can clear that off now, and then I can go up here and take care of this big problem. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just go turn in the minor one first. Um, but yeah, hopefully in that email, Dirk, that you also sent me a link to the Emmerich quote, because I'd be curious to read it. Uh, okay, what's up here? Abram Treadwell, where'd he go? Abram Treadwell writes, thanks for the tip to sell leather. I made 100 gold in one trip to the auction house. That's a good, how much leather? 
did you sell that you got 100 gold for? And was it light, medium, heavy, something else? I'd be curious to know what you got. But yeah, man, like if you find a good spot that just has huge packs of animals that give up a certain type of leather and you just spend like an hour or something, you can farm a lot of leather, take it to the auction house and your bank account can grow pretty quick. I mean, if you do it right. Okay, am I going the right way? Which, first of all, I'm gonna go here. So I'm going completely the wrong direction. <laughs> it's a good thing I checked. So I'm gonna try, but uh, hey man, I'm glad you enjoyed the tip. And by the way, feel free to share tips with me. Like I said, I haven't played this game in forever. So I clearly suck at it uh, compared to a lot of people. So by all means, feel free to send me your tips and tricks. If you got some good tips for me, please send them, email them to me. I would love to get them. Okay. Death, death, death. Come on, give me some heavy leather. Medium leather. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take that medium leather goodness. It's still, uh, you can still get a lot for it at the auction house. See if I can just uh, swing by here now and just get the rest of the way without having to stop to fight anything else. Um, Luna Comics writes, I just saw I can only imagine one of the better faith-based films, uh, but I give it a 7 out of 10. I am sucker for redemption stories. Yeah, you know what? I did not watch I Can Only Imagine. I think Dennis Quaid's in that, right? I didn't watch it. I remember the song a lot because you know, I come from a church history background. Um... So I remember the song vividly. It's a good song, actually. But I, even coming from a faith-based background, I always hated faith-based movies. Always hated them. Uh, had no desire to watch them or anything like that. So, yeah, I didn't even bother. All right, turn in this thing. Now, she's probably going to tell me to go down and kill a bunch of these things. Collect seal folder from Forsaken Courier. Find her on the road. Okay, I'll accept. Where's she? Forsaken Carrier. It's, oh, just south of me. Okay, I'll go take care of this one quick. Why not? I'm here. But it says she's straight ahead somewhere. I'm going to go around. All right. I guess I'm going to have to take these guys out. Peons. Oh, I'm guessing she must be... Should be right here. Man, there's a lot of orcs here. Take a peek inside this house. Oh. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. And I still haven't got what I came here for. I think there are a lot of people here on the same quest. Um, oh yeah, so, so I can only imagine, yeah. I think I was modestly interested to a short, small degree. Yeah, I think I was modestly interested to a small degree, and I can only imagine, but just my overall disdain for faith-based films, which I've always had, just kind of kept me away from it. So I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't even bother with it. Uh, but I'm glad you saw it, and I'm glad you liked it, Luna. All right, Jordy54 writes, what's your views on ads running 
ads during movie run times. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Now, I've been really lucky in the sense that in, um, in Los Angeles, generally speaking, they do not show ads. They don't show ads during... Uh, Who am I looking for? Forsaken Courier, find her on the road. Okay, that's fine, but... What road? This road? I have no idea what I'm looking for here. Um... I've ranted about this before. Like, oh crap, that guy's gonna kill me. I'm gonna go and kill this guy one more time just to see if I can get anything from him. I'll just sit here and wait for him to appear. Um. Yeah, I've ranted about this before. Look, if your movie showtime says the movie starts at 7 o'clock, then you better either be showing me trailers or the movie at 7 o'clock. What I do not accept is them showing commercials at 7 o'clock. Now, like I said, I'm pretty lucky in that in Los Angeles, I haven't found a movie theater. Um, I've been lucky that I haven't found a movie theater that plays commercials during seven o'clock. Mostly commercials play, like if the movie says starts at seven, they'll play commercials before seven o'clock and that's fine. I have no problem with that. Um, that's fair game. But yeah, when they, oh, in Canada, as much as I love Canada, oh my God. In Canada, it was like every movie theater was yeah, nothing here of worth. Okay, I, I still don't understand what I'm doing here. It says, find her on the road. I'm on the road. The golden circle area I'm in doesn't seem to be giving me anything. Oh, there's a dot though. Oh, that's the person I'm looking for, okay. Okay, sealed folder. Got it. All right. That's what I was looking for the whole time. Um, but anyway, yeah. So here's my argument. I understand playing commercials and ads for free content. So if I'm reading a website and they put up ads, that's fine. I'm reading this, this website for free. I'm reading this website for free. So I don't mind paying a little bit with my time to read ads or to see ads at any rate. That's fine. I don't mind that because I'm getting something out of it. As long as I'm getting something out of it, you can show me ads if I'm not paying for it, right? So if I watch television, now other than my, my uh, bill to, you know, cable bill or whatever, if I'm watching television, I'm watching te television for free. So if you got to put up commercials for me to watch this television show for free, okay, I get that. I have no problem with that. But if I pay you for content, then I don't want to watch commercials. I pay you to come into your movie theater to watch a movie. You best not show me commercials. Like trailers is fine because to me, Trailers is a part of the movie going experience. So I'm totally good with trailers. I have no problem with that. But commercials for Ford or commercials for M&Ms or commercials for this, that, and the other thing and showing me over and over and over again, commercials, 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 I'm going to get pissed off because I paid you to be in here. 
I paid you 12 bucks so I could come in here and watch the movie. I did not pay you so I could watch commercials. Now, you say the movie starts at 7, you want to show commercials before 7 o'clock, that's fine. But damn, if 7 o'clock hits and I've paid you 15 bucks to be in here to watch a movie, you better not be showing me commercials. You better not be showing me commercials that time. Anyway, that's just kind of my, uh, that is my feeling on the whole idea of them showing commercials before movies. Again, let me emphasize, if the movie, if it says the movie starts at 7 p.m. and I come in at 6.45 and you're showing commercials before 7 p.m., fine. You said the movie starts at 7. If I want to come early, you want to show commercials, fine. But once 7 p.m. hits, damn you, you better be showing me a movie, or at least trailers. Um, let's see here. Uh, Gary McAllister writes, Hey, John, love your shows. Thank you so much, Gary. Uh, Star Wars question for you. Wouldn't it make sense to ask Lucas, the man himself, to screenwrite for Episode 9? Since he's the one who started it all, cheers and keep up the fine work. No, um, because he, he lost his way. Um, he wrote the screenplays for the prequels, and the prequels have fans, absolutely. But since you're asking me, since you're asking me, the prequels were hot piles of garbage. Not to mention, just recently, um, it was we talked about on the John Campus show the other day. George Lucas revealed in an interview with James Cameron what his plans were for episode seven, for if he had done episode seven, eight, and nine. And it was all about going into the microbiotic world and doing a movies about midichlorians and the wills. Going into the microbiotic world inside our cells and telling stories about the midichlorians and the wills. Oh my God, no. No, no, no. As much as I will always worship at the altar of George Lucas, and as much as I will always be indebted to him for what he did with Star Wars and introducing us to Star Wars and bringing us the greatest trilogy of all time, I do not want George making more movies, to be honest. Now, him, have him on as an executive producer, have him on as being involved in some way, sure. But do I want him writing the screenplay? No. Do I want him directing? No. Um, he, he came back to them with the prequels. And again, to me, they are blights. Um, they are blights on the Star Wars fandom. I, I, that's just how I see it. And that's fine. I understand other people like this. There are some people out there who like them. That's wonderful. And there is something romantic about the notion of... Um, there is something romantic about the notion of George Lucas, the guy who wrote the originals, coming back to write you know, the one last installment in episode nine. There's something very romantic about that idea. But considering my relationship with the prequels considering what George Lucas said his plans would have been. And by the way, not only did George Lucas reveal that his plans were to make the movies about midichlorians, he also fully admitted straight out, he said, look, the, the fans would have hated my movies. The fans would have hated... So putting all that together, while I acknowledge the romanticism of the notion, clearly there's something very poetic about that. I, as one fan, and I only speak for myself, I, as one isolated fan, no, would not would not greet the news of George Lucas writing episode nine with any happiness whatsoever. I, I just wouldn't. But again, I can understand the appeal to some people. I really can. And if that's something you would look forward to, that's great. I, I just, again, for me, man, it's just, it's not something that I would be happy about. It's just, it just isn't at this point, but that's just me as one isolated fan. I'm sure you'd find a lot of different opinions out there too. Okay. Let me uh, move. Oh, what, did I ever accept this lady's quest? I guess I did. Okay, where am I going? Wait, there was a question mark. Did I not take... Or maybe that's just something I come back to. Okay, where am I going now? Uh, I am going north now to fight that... Uh, monster I was going to go fight before. But it's worth like 11,000 experience, which kind of tells me that she's going to be very, very tough. Which is fine. I'm sure me and my minion can handle it. Uh, la la la. 
Uh, but anyway, thanks a lot for the question, Gary. I appreciate that. Okay. Maurice Cook writes in. And uh, let me see if I can just get around these dinosaurs so they don't attack me. Yes, mate. Maurice Cook writes, no, John, I'm talking about the CW Supergirl. Oh, you're talking about CW. Uh, no, John, I'm talking about the CW Supergirl TV show. Uh, make a spinoff of her show with their version of Superman in it. And we'll see a James Bond origin story. See how he joins MI. And will we see a James Bond origin story? Well, getting to the second part of your question first, no, I don't think we're going to see a James Bond origin story. Um... Okay, now how do I summon this girl? Oh, I guess I got to hit that. Okay. First thing I'm going to do... All right, let me finish answering the question. Do I think we're going to see James Bond origin story? I don't think so. Would it be... Would there be some merit to doing a James Bond origin story? Maybe. I think there's certain ways you could do it, but I, I don't know that there's any hunger for that. I think people just want to see James Bond. But hey, there are, op there are possibilities there, certainly. Um... Uh, no, I, I wouldn't want to see a spinoff of the Superman. And no, that's, I do not like that incarnation. They had him only there to be a jobber for Supergirl, to put Supergirl over. I hate it. I don't want it. Nope, nope, nope. Do not want a CW version of Superman. Thank you very much. I don't want CW touching Superman anymore. And I certainly don't want them touching Batman. All the other characters I'm totally fine with. And I actually quite enjoy some more than others, obviously. Uh, like Love and Black Lightning. Haven't, I love Flash, but I haven't liked this season of Flash. Arrow, I have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. It's been winning me back over a little bit lately. Um, Legends of Tomorrow has always been meh. But Supergirl, no. And their incarnation, I want them, I would rather just pretend that that incarnation of Superman never existed. No offense to the actor who did a fine job, nothing like that. It's just the way they wrote him. And yeah, I personally don't want anything to do with that Supergirl again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gonna buff up. And summon this thing. Okay, wait a minute. What? It says I need something, but I don't... Crap, what do I have to do? Uh, I think I blew something. I think I blew something badly. Um, so anyway, so to summarize. No, I, I don't think they'll do a James Bond origin story, but there could be some creative possibilities there that could be interesting, maybe. And as far as a Supergirl, like a Superman spinoff show from the Supergirl TV series, personally, no desire for that whatsoever. No desire for that whatsoever. Um... Let's see, last two questions, and then we're over an hour, and I'm going to call it a day. Uh, Afren Oaf Peanuts just sends in a super chat. Thank you so much, a fan. Um, oh, a fan of Peanuts. Got it. Interesting name. Dirk Diggler writes, I just sent the link to your inbox. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to look that up. And Abram Treadwell writes, light leather, one leather for four gold. What? Okay, you got lucky then. Because one leather for four gold, that seems like an inflated price. That price seems a little bit inflated. Okay, guys, I've gone over an hour now and I got through all the questions. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm gonna go, gonna take the uh, old uh, Hearthstone back to my inn so I can rest for the next adventure. Um, hey guys, thanks a lot for joining me here, joining along, and by the way, uh, let me know if you have ideas, tips, suggestions about these little play and chats. I think I'm going to keep doing play and chat on my YouTube channel. It just seems more interactive here than it did on Twitch. Um, and I'm going to start playing different games as well, but I'm going to stick with Warcraft for the next couple of weeks. But I'm enjoying this. Let me know what you guys think. Email me anytime. Thanks a lot for coming along with me here, guys. I really appreciate it. My name is John Campia, and until my next video, bye-bye.